logging in, logging out of Dynamics GP10. When you have clicked the Start menu and on the Dynamics GP icon, this is what shows up. Notice that we are going to load Dynamics GP EDU. We are the System Administrator, or SA, and it's time for us to put in our password, which you previously have set up when you installed the program. We click OK. Notice there isn't any data loaded, and it asks you, do you want to load your data? We are going to put in our USB drive, which contains the empty company data folder and the sample company data folder. So we're going to click yes and it's going to take us to our USB drive or you can search for your USB drive. Notice mine is removable disk K and I am going to click on my sample company data folder. Now there's three files in here. There's the dynamics file which is the program and then there are two other files which are the companies that either are the sample company data or an empty company shell that I have previously set up because I'm going to start a comp business from scratch. So I'm going to click right now on Dynamics and wait a bit. And in a few moments the company login screen appears. This is where we select the company that we want to work with. If I click on the pull down menu, notice we have two companies. Fabricam, which is the sample company data, which we will be loading, and SAM Help Inc., which is the empty, empty company shell that I've previously created. So let's click on Fabricam. When I do, Notice that I am the system administrator and that I am the only user allowed. So let's click OK. And in a few moments, after attempting to log in, I will know that I am successful in logging in because the screen will appear. It says you have chosen to use the sample company, which provides data that you can use to practice procedures and learn more about Dynamics GP. We know this because our date is automatically set at April 12, 2017. Click OK. And in a few moments, the desktop will fully load. In the meantime, take a look at the navigation bar or the navigation pane on the left-hand side of your screen. Notice that it gives me some easy ways to access some tasks or that I might be interested in and it also shows me the various modules that are loading. So what we're going to see first is the home page and this is the home desktop. Notice the home desktop has a to-do list. Now this to-do list gives us quick access to some smart lists that we're particularly interested in like how many customers are over their credit limit or gee how much is past due uh, from our customers and it also tells me today how much I should be expecting as far from my accounts receivable it also shows me quick links these quick links are customized to the role that I play in this case I'm the system administrator so these are some of the tasks or activities that I would be engaged in uh, frequently also notice that if I had um, Office Outlook um, on my computer it would automatically load right here and I would be able to use my Outlook right from my desktop. The other great thing about the home page is that it shows me performance metrics in graphical form. So here's my gross profit. I can look at the aging of my payables. Notice that I have a lot of past due bills and that's because it's April 12th, 2017 and the data is a, a bit older than this. Uh, notice receivables again. There's a lot of customers who are way past due. Uh, payable summaries, receivable summaries, total payables, total receivables, so some really nice metrics. Also, if I've customized reports, they would show up down here in this part of the uh, desktop. 
if I click on the financial module, notice that I can look at uh, ribbons of information. So if you are an Office 2007 aficionado with all those transparent ribbons, they're here for you just by clicking on these various um, links. Or if you're more of a task-driven individual, here is the list of all the things you can do. If I click on sales, again, notice I have ribbons concerning the sales activities or I can look at it by clicking on various tasks. Purchasing is the same way. So that's a little bit about our desktop. Notice I know the company I'm, I am in because it says I'm in Fabricam Inc which is the, syst uh, the sample data and I am the SA or the systems administrator and it also tells me today's date. Going back to the home page if I wanted to customize this home page by a particular type of user, I can customize right here by customizing this page. If you are a pull down menu person, notice I can also run Dynamics GP by pulling down all the various menus. So that's available to me as well. Now let's log out. Well, it's pretty easy to log out. You click the close menu. In a moment it will say, do you want to unload your data? And you definitely do. So make sure that USB drive is in and you click yes. And it will unload your data for you. Back to where it loaded from. The beauty of Dynamics GP is it remembers where it came from. So hope this tutorial has been good about logging in and logging out.